In some queues, you may not want the board to mark a fixture for you, as you may want to see the live move between two queues. So it's possible to turn off auto mark on a per queue basis. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm gonna say Q12, and you'll notice my soft key three is auto mark off. So I'm gonna hit that. Immediately when I execute that, the timing moves from Q11 back down to Q12 for focus and beam. And in my flags column in the mark area, I get a D, and that says that auto mark is disabled for this queue. You'll also notice that in my moves column, I get an L for a live move. So let's go back to Q9 as we did before and watch how this differs. So I'll go to my Q10. Q11, the channels stay exactly the same as they were, channels 111 through 115. And now as I fade these up, you're going to see them transition from their large zoomed out position down to the stage left side. If I want to re-enable Automark for that queue, I can say Q12 and my S3 Automark off will return it back to an Automark state. There's one other area that pertains to marking, and that is your mark time. By default, we use the time of the queue that the mark is happening in, in this example Q11, to do the fades of the non-intensity parameters. So for example, Q11 is a five count, our marks will happen in a time of five. If this were a particularly fast queue, that may make a lot of noise and we may want our fixtures to move slower by default. So we can go into setup, and in show settings you can see we have mark time. When it's disabled, it means that we'll always use queue timing. But we can type in 15, and now all the marks will use 15 seconds as their time. You'll also notice in our queue list that Q11's duration now went to 15 seconds because something in that queue, the mark in this case, is taking longer than the other fades.